How are you, my internet family? And welcome back. So today, I've got something a little bit different, a bit special. I'm at Playlist Live in Florida, which is a kind of convention thingy for YouTubers. And I am surrounded by some of my favorite, wonderful, talented, amazing, queer YouTube friends. And I wanted to put together this special little video for any of you who are struggling with your sexual identity for a little bit of um, queer positivity. Just can't get enough of that on the internet. So I hope you enjoy this. Some sleep. She tastes like apple juice and peach. Okay, I've seen the diary entries from when I was a little kid. So I would say to myself, don't stress out so much trying to find yourself. You've got loads of time to figure out when the time is right, you'll figure out what you are. And yes, you do like girls. <laughs> I am a cisgender gay man. My name is Riyadh Caliph. I am Melanie's best, best Irish friend. friend, I think, actually. Yeah, I've just given myself kiss, that identity. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> what would you say to your 16 year old self um, before you were out? Okay, I would say you're not sick, you're not weird, um, well you are weird but in a beautiful way <laughs> and you need to embrace your weirdness, don't try and pack it away to the side, don't try and deny yourself what you're into, just embrace it and uh, forget about the bullies, don't listen to them because they're wrong, just realise that when you're 19, 20, 21 your sexuality and who you are is going to be one of the most beautiful things about you and it's actually going to bring amazing people into your life. I identify as gender fluid and bisexual. Be patient, answers are coming. Just be yourself. My th advice I would give to myself when I was struggling with my sexuality when I was younger was would be don't worry about what people think about you in this tiny state of Mississippi because these people do not represent how the world is and you will be able to find people that love and accept you for who you are. So stay patient and keep persevering. When I was 13, I had somebody tell me that I was too young to know my sexuality. And so then I spent the next three years telling myself that I wasn't gay and there, that I was too young to know what I was. And I just want to tell myself that you're never too young to start figuring yourself out. I would love to like see ninth grade Michael Buckley and just give him a big hug because this boy on the bus was so mean to him and he would just go home and cry and pray and really I would just want to hug him and I would tell him it's going to be okay, you're going to have a wonderful life. I kind of wish you had stood up for yourself and said sit down and stop calling me all these names. But um, I would just give him a big hug and tell him you're meant for great success and great love and a beautiful life. It's all going to be okay and that the confusion will go and everything will work itself out. You don't have to be just gay. You don't have to be just straight. You don't even have to be just bi. You can, you can like what you like. You can do what you want. You can be gay and still have attraction to the opposite gender. You can be straight and still want to explore with the same gender. It doesn't matter, you do you. Just because you experiment and decide that you don't like something, it doesn't, that doesn't affect your label for the rest of your life. You can still be straight if you've had gay experiences. So if I could tell my younger self anything, I would tell them to be a lot more patient with your parents because when you are coming out, I think a lot of the time, we just kind of expect our parents just to like accept us like this. But what we don't think is it took us a long time to begin with to become comfortable with ourselves, whether it took one year, two years, three years, what have you. It's going to take your parents some time as well. And so I think a lot of the time we just think, oh, our parents just need to accept us right away. But it takes time and you should give them that time. Respect the fact that they had a certain outlook for you and now that has slightly changed and just give them time. They will come around at some point. They are, you are still their son or daughter. They love you, but it just takes a bit of time. My favorite thing about being gay is that um, people instantly think that I'm really funny even before they've met me. <laughs> they just go, oh, he's gay. <laughs> Say something. I, it's a bit of pressure, but I kind of own it. I'm like, okay, yeah. I also like um, uh, the fact that I can uh, be around Willie's uh, in close proximity to uh, Willie's. Definitely the community. The community is so colourful and bright. Everyone is so amazing and interesting. Everyone's got an incredible story to tell. And they're all so supportive because we all empathise. We all are in the same boat. And it's just, yeah, it's a great place to be. My favourite thing about being uh, a lesbian is that I feel like I won the lottery. I feel like the luckiest person in the world because I get to love like the most incredible, beautiful woman in the world to me. I might be biased or gayest, but like to me, she's the most incredible, amazing woman and I get to love her. <laughs> guys, hot guys' bodies. Yeah, <laughs> like and yours. No. Check that out. Check it out. I'm a control freak. Uh, so 
personally, I find it like creatively interesting and also just like empowering that I'm in control of my identity, and I get to set the terms. I get to uh, explore what that means for me, um, and it's just exciting. It's exciting to do that and explore that. It makes me a lot more em empathetic to other people in general. Like it really does make such a difference. You like see people for who they really are and not what they identify as. Uh, my favorite thing about being openly gay is when I travel, and I always find that whenever you meet any LGBTQ people, you always just, you instantly have a connection because you've always had somewhat of a similar life experience. I love being openly gay because it means I get to be myself all the time in every moment. And I remember when I came out in 1995, there was just such a relief of like, oh, I don't have to like pretend I have a girlfriend to my mother and oh, I don't have to lie and oh, I don't have to make up an excuse why I'm not this or that. So again, to be 100% myself on camera and off camera and in life is just such a wonderful gift. I can just be myself and also, interestingly, being able to know that I'm surrounded by people who also accept me. Sometimes it's hard to come out because you don't know how people are going to react. But really, even if they do give you a negative reaction and they don't want you a part of their life anymore, really the silver lining to that is you don't want them a part of your life either and now you know that. Means everything to me. <laughs>